mean, if it's touching the pad and you barely see any pad underneath, it's going to stay on the pad. Just don't want them to join together because that is a pain in the butt afterwards. You want them all to stick right the first time. All right, I probably spent way too much time on that, but oh well. All right, start it back up. And about eight inches off, seven inches off the chip. We'll go for about a minute here, and then we'll start moving it down. I can definitely see the chips drying out, which is good. That means that the balls aren't going to move besides only the pads. So, all right, five minutes, 30 seconds, moving down about six inches off the board, the chip. Start going in a circular, circular motion slowly. And actually start slowly going down 
lower and lower and then when you get to about three inches off the board kind of stop in a corner and let let the uh, solder balls liquefy you'll see them turning like a dull gray color and then they will turn a shiny silver color and jump onto the pad and then at that point you start going around the chip um, slowly and they'll all start jumping on the pad alright I'm gonna stay in one spot now in this corner alright here we go Once you've went around, you hit the middle. And they're all pretty much on there anyways already. And then go around one more time. Alright, 8 minutes 55 seconds total with the heat gun on. Uh, just a tip, when you put your heat gun down, <laughs> make sure the cord doesn't touch the heat gun. I've had that happen a couple times. Take a look at your chip, make sure all the balls are on top of the pad perfectly. You don't want to see any pad. And it looks pretty darn good, so I'm going to set it to the side. Now we get to clean off the board. Too close. What was that Wayne's World thing? Extreme close up. Extreme close up. Ah. All right. JVF. 010 BGA gel flux 10cc syringe seems to last for a good amount of time 
I don't know, you might be able to do close to 20 systems with it, depending on how big the chip is and how much you use it. Turn your soldering iron on. Pretty much the hardest part is reballing the chip. So, yeah, that's pretty much the hardest part. Make sure you get your solder wick set up if you don't already have some cut. Clean off your uh, soldering iron, iron tip. This light is not my friend right now, so I'm going to move it. Tend your tip. Let it solder. Proceed to clean the board. <laughs> 